Hi, I'm Mallory Fries, and I'm a sophomore BFA acting student here at UNC Greensboro. This semester I am taking a course in college writing where one of our primary focuses is a rhetoric of activism speaker series where different members from our community come and speak with us about their activist efforts. This past week we had a speaker, Kim Atovina, who talked with us about her activist efforts being a dancer based out of Orlando, Florida. Her activist efforts include her dance studio in which she owns, also based out of Florida, and her efforts during the quarantine and Black Lives Matter protests that occurred early, earlier this year. The text that we will specifically be looking at is a video in which she uh, compiled herself and it is a video of different members from her dance studio, community, friends, family, whom are all dancing symbolically to however they feel the pandemic has effect affected them, however the protests have affected them, the times have affected them, and compiled these videos together that are a backtrack to I Am Human Maya Angelou's poem in which Maya Angelou's voice can be heard over all of these videos. The text or the dance is completely improv and uh, it the poem is about loving, it's about equality, it's about caring for one another, it's about having dreams and being able to obtain those dreams or want to aspire to obtain those dreams. It's really, really heartfelt, especially when considering the um, social climates and the political issues that were going on and are still going on during the time. And even looking at Madovina's company, the company and the Red Right Return stands as a beacon of hope. It is a very um, important to Matovina to be inclusive and she even said that during her talk with us. Uh, one thing I really stood out to me was when she said that um, the hope is the work of her company brings forth contemplation, safety, and healing, which three things that not only are beautiful to inspire your work to do, but are three things that is really important with the climates that we're dealing with right now. Contemplation, safety, healing, isn't something that you get everywhere isn't something unfortunately that everyone provides especially safety and healing um it's also really awesome to hear that uh that matovina doesn't really care about being popular doesn't care about being famous for what she's doing or um having people idolize the work it's it's more important for her and her company to look at the work and get meaning from the work themselves rather than get validation from others who are viewing the work. Um, during quarantine and the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, Madovina talked about how it was a struggle. Personally, um, during the Black Lives Matter protest, she uh, talked about how she was a part of the protest and it was really hard on her um, seeing the hurt that so many individuals a part of the Orlando, Florida community were feeling due to the police brutality, um, the systemic racism, and um, the, the incidents like Breonna Taylor and George Floyd that had happened earlier this year. Um, and she also talked about how even during the pandemic it was really difficult because it made her not really want to do you know, art to um, continue working as an artist. There a lot. There was a lot of motivation that was lost, and I understand that personally. I'm uh, being a theater major and dealing with movement classes, in which I have currently, and uh, working over Zoom, doing uh, script analysis and doing table reads and you know scene work. Like it's really difficult when you're not in the space when you're not you know when you have masks on even you can't see people's faces it's really hard to read people and it, it there is a loss of motivation um and i really felt that during the first part of the pandemic so i totally understand what she was saying when, when she felt that as well but to see the continuation of her work even through the black lives matter movement and even through the pandemic is really inspiring and it's also inspiring that that's what she wants to continue to do to make work that not only inspires others but inspires herself most importantly that she wants to um hone in on um her work being 
of service, you know, either to the kids that she t uh, teaches or to those that are seeking safety or seeking healing that need to see it, um, combating change and, and promoting awareness for things that need to change, such as systemic racism. The pathos in this is amazingly prominent. Uh, the dance itself brings out a lot of emotions in people. It brought out emotions in me when I saw it the first time and even when I saw it re-watching the Zoom, it, it's incredibly emotional. Uh, and it's also incredibly personal, not only for the people dancing and being that it's completely improv and what they are feeling, but it is also personal for the audience. You know, everyone has dealt with this pandemic, dealt with the Black Lives Matter movement in a different way and people have different experiences, people come from different backgrounds, so it's, it is incredibly personal. Additionally, during the uh, Zoom call, Madovina was incredibly personable. Um, she was asking the class about dance and movement experience, was uh, really friendly and neighborly, uh, open, and you don't find that a lot in some people and so to see not only uh being willing to talk and be real and, and authentic but then also being able to um be direct and you know be be um present with her audience is really amazing to see she also gains credibility um as she owns her own dance studio and seeing how she has um seeing how she has taken her love for dance and not only wanted to make art with that dance with that passion but then build up her own studio in which she can um, create art for others create pieces be with, with within ensembles of her community is incredibly special um, and it's nice to see that being like I said an artist myself and like maybe wanting to have my own theater one day or wanting to have my own film studio. It's so cool to see someone who is just really passionate about what they do and being able to follow their dreams, um, which is really at the heart of I Am Human. It was really awesome to talk with, to see um, the interactions and to uh, see the work that is currently being made by Madovina. And um, yeah, it's ex I'm excited to see what else she does.